what's going on everybody we have been checking out boxers in the past time and in the current times but every time we mention floyd mayweather we get a little disrespectful in here but i haven't really actually seen floyd mayweather that's not something that i watch i don't watch boxing but right now we're gonna learn something about the defensive goud himself so let's just see what we can learn he's 50 and 0 but a lot of people say that you know it doesn't count and whatnot but uh let's Let's see if it changes my mind or if I agree. Let's jump into it. To some, Floyd is Money Mayweather. Money, baby. To others, he is simply the greatest boxing superstar of his generation. Is he, he really, though? He changed his name from pretty, his nickname from Pretty Boy to Money. Money, power, respect. Oh, Pretty Boy it's was not his... hard to figure out what he is after. Dala, dala. Bill, bill. Lightning fast. Somebody who so disgusted you with his flossing and beyond. Well, I've already made somewhere upwards of 800 million. It's not the money, it's the money. Yo, last year alone, you might not like him, but yo, $100 million. All the flash to Floyd money may work. <laughs> making him number one on Sports so Illustrated's small. list of the world's richest athletes. Where is it from? Can I ask how much? Uh, 18 million. What? Whoa! <laughs> $18 million on your wrist? That's insane. It's a one-on-one. Well, it better be a one-on-one for $18 million. He convinced you to pay to watch somebody else try to beat him up. Yeah, that's interesting, oh, yes. Perfect timing. A little bit. Yeah, I have a picture Yo, of uh, this is from Instagram. You're on a, a what looks like a private plane. You just with a whole no, my private. Plane. Your private plane. Yeah. Sorry. I'm I have a lot of problems, but money and pussy is not one of my problems. I've changed not just the sport of boxing, but sports. Period. Hundred million dollars. I wonder what it feels like to have all that money. More money, more problems. That's how it feels like. Floyd was raised in the gyms of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Seven of us living in a one bedroom. No lights, no heat. Never cried, never complained. He was molded in his father's image. A successful fighter in his own right, Floyd wow. Mayweather Sr. laid the groundwork that led to Floyd becoming a world champion at age 21. Uh, my dad going out there, when I live with my dad in Michigan, my dad going out there, taking chances, hustling to put food on the Making table. his professional debut, introducing Pretty Boy Floyd Pretty Mayweather. Boy. At age 19, Floyd would fight his first professional bout. By him being a pro, he wants to be successful. Okay, let's see this so defensive master at the jail, beginning. He'll be able to lift up his dad so that his father won't be eating bologna sandwiches. Pretty boy Floyd and Money Mayweather. Hey, bologna like sandwich is pretty good. Israel, bologna so with ketchup? Floyd was better and he was more on his feet. This is, it's a blood sport. And usually fighters wind up broke and punch drunk. And Floyd Mayweather flipped the script. Well, the winner punch drunk. By knockout in his professional debut, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. A child prodigy, Floyd was throwing jabs and working the bag before he could walk. His father and his uncle Roger. Wow, he looks like his dad, well sure. regarded pros. Mayweather comes from a family of fighters and boxers, and they raised their, their son and nephew from the time he was in the crib throwing jabs and left hooks with rattles. Well, I can say, that I guess it's in the blood. Floyd Sr. suffered a wound to the leg that prematurely ended his professional boxing career. Oh, his damn. energy quickly shifted toward making a champion of his infant son. Two or three years old, his dad used to take him and bring him in the gym to hold him up to hit the speed bag. Wow. And when Floyd Jr. was a kid, his father used like to Simba. put him on his shoulders and help him hit the speed bag. He says, when my dad comes out of jail, I'll be there for him. I'll put him on my shoulders. Mm. That that looked like an outside brawl punch. You know what I'm saying? That's like goes Ayala and that didn't really seem like boxing technique rather than a playground hit. And now you're just knocking on a door.
Under his father's tutelage, Floyd quickly rose through the amateur ranks, baptized into the family business. He won the national senior Golden Gloves. He was only 15, 16 years old. And of course, the coveted gold gloves he's wearing right here. An amazing feat. Oh, you get to wear them? They're an actual thing that you can actually hold? The good man upstairs for this opportunity to win the national championship. And second, second of all, I want to thank Baby my Floyd. My dad, uh, Baby real Floyd. Hard on me, real hard on me. Uh, I can't make no mistakes. You know, if I make a mistake, you know, my dad, you know, kind of, you know, cuss me out. No pain, no gain. See, that's something that I installed in. Whether he said or not, it's something that I installed in him. You know, you talk about somebody like Floyd, he's had his, his dad fight and his, his uncle fight before him. To where he's like refined the, the, the process so much that. Yeah. Right. You shouldn't last much longer now. It's damn near perfect, you know what I mean? He might be fighting nobodies, but he's and a good boxer. Right. I mean, he needs to get humbled, but like, yo. The winner by knockout victory, his record now six and oh, five KOs. Ooh, that's a good combo, dang. Yo, like he's a fighter, straight up, he's a fighter. With a drug addicted mother and a father who was in and out of trouble, chaos and conflict were embedded in Floyd's blood. Shortly after Floyd's Golden Gloves victory, his father was arrested. He would be sentenced to five and a half years. You know, he sacrificed everything uh, for me. My dad went to prison and I had to become a man at 16. I go, into, I go down there thinking he in my corner. Without his father, Floyd entered the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. He would win a bronze medal. Many believe Floyd Ooh, was bronze? robbed of his victory. I thought that Floyd Mayweather was the outstanding pro prospect in the entire Olympic Games. Well, he certainly has a great pedigree, of course. His uncle Roger, who's in his corner, was a two-time world champion. That is only lost. His loss? father Floyd was a professional, and his brother Jeff is still an active Because it really is a big factor. I guess it's Floyd not a pro fight. His dad, who's a world-class fighter, it's fought huge. Sugar Ray Leonard, and his uncle Roger. Dang, how did he Black lose? Mamba. His uncle Roger, once was known as the Black Mamba. I don't know who that guy is. He's training him right now. Ah, he tried to do a little friendly uh, glove touch. Hey! Wait, is this the semifinals? No, it's not Olympics. No, no, no. Because they have to wear helmets. Well, I don't study my opponents because I just. Oh, wait, I guess we don't get to see him lose. Once I get inside that square circle. Mayweather this is a winning had video. Waste to his first 17 opponents. Yeah. First 17? The, the Damn. The that I'm blessed with is that I can adjust and adapt once I get inside. And in those 17 circle. first fights, you don't get any good fighters. Ah, Mayweather dang. was okay with playing the part of the black hat. Did you do the Jake Paul thing? The villain. The bad guy. Some guys you love, Why didn't he have you better know? opponents in the um, in the beginning? Yeah, that's what sells tickets. And I'm here to sell tickets. You know, I'm a performer. That's what I do. I sell myself. I don't, I don't need nobody to sell me. I can sell myself. Some love you, some hate you. But I love myself. Mayweather's insane competitiveness that's and sick drive nickname, for Money an eternal legacy though. has blossomed into a relentless style of 24-hour a day on-call training. And here's another thing that Floyd has going for him. Conditioning. On, on fat, wow. he's always in tremendous shape. Yeah. Always. Just always in shape. Dedication. Hard work. Dedication. Hard work. Most athletes adhere to strict workout schedules. Floyd, however, is Jeez. not most athletes. He works out up to four times a day yeah. at unpredictable hours. Mayweather no, no. believes he gains a competitive and psychological edge by training while his opponents are sleeping. Damn. He now faced Hernandez in the first title fight of his career. Hernandez was the is he a big name? Is he good? In okay, two years, yeah, 17 fights. Who is a very good fighter. Two years, and 17 fights, and in those 17, we haven't seen anybody that I know. Oh, this guy's tall. Oh, what a vicious uppercut by Floyd. 
Yeah, this is a weird video because usually you get to see big names or big uh, clashes or like superstar fights, but 17 fights and then you get a chip? Two years? Rudy Hernandez stops the fight. And then he stops the fight. Gives up. Not known in boxing. You don't quit. Super featherweight champion of the world. The age of 21, Mayweather was a world 21. champion. He was now the youngest 98. title holder in pro wow. boxing. I think Mayweather may be one of the best natural fighters around. He's a total package. This is one of the best fighters of his generation. Oh, that's a low blow, no? Mayweather had established himself as one of boxing's rising stars. Oh, Superman. Dang. I mean, he has that, like, aggressive, like, power, you know, when you push forward like that. Damn. It's a stoppage. Wow. His sole motivation is that he wants to retire undefeated. Oh, so he wanted that early. A multiple champion in five, six different weight classes. Ooh, it looks like it looks like you're holding a pillow the best ever to do it. i don't know his punches seem like pillow fight rose you know his domination continues he is a magician okay he's that, not a technician that dude. he's a magician yeah he is like he's technical you can see i guess that's why they don't find him entertaining because he's very fight, technical mayweather Citing too much pressure from his father to achieve perfection, as well as a natural chemistry with his uncle, fired Floyd Sr. as both his manager and trainer. Father was out, uncle was in. He thinks he could talk to fighters Damn. any type of way. He's not going to talk to me any type of way. Floyd Mayweather Jr. was trained at the beginning of his professional career by his father, Floyd Mayweather. Ultimately, they didn't get along at all. So Uncle Roger Mayweather was brought in to become the trainer instead. Everything he got, that is I uncle? got it. Everything he's giving people, I did it for him. His daddy did it for him. He's going to be the best in the world, and he is. And he, and he is because of his daddy, not nobody else. Let's get that, let's get that clear. Now he's trained by his I guess he was Rogers. aggressive when he was younger, and the closer you get to being undefeated, career. you understand that you can't take those risks. You got to be more process. defensive because he was putting a lot of pressure. Lessened in favor of a more aggressive, fan pleasing style. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I was saying. He, he was a lot more aggressive here. Career, you put him in front of me. Yeah. Look at that. And I'll beat. Like a lot of people have been saying he's very defensive. Like here, he still applies a lot of pressure. He's knocking people out. He's going in. I'm at the top. Oh, and the guy's throwing towels, man. Landed on the highest percentage. I'm at the top. And when you talk about making the, the most money, we ain't got to talk about that. We already know who at the top. When he was moving up the weight, got remember, he started at the lightweight. When he was fighting a Diego Corrales, Diego Corrales was a knockout artist. Floyd steps in the ring with him, knocks him down six or seven different times. Is this? Oh, dang. Oh, no. Oh, he sneaked. Peekaboo, man. The boogeyman came out to play. What's the rule? If you get knocked down like three, four times, they officially call it? Mayweather did have a weakness. Brittle hands. What does that mean? Like he hurts his hand? The first time it happened to him, you can have the experience that kind of pain. And this is going to be called a knockdown against Floyd Mayweather. Seven. In the sixth round, Mayweather injured his left hand in what would go down Damn. as the first official knockdown of Floyd's career. He knocked himself down. Does that really count? My right hand is killing me. You see him wincing. Able to overcome the injury. Floyd secured the win. Oh, uh, no respect, man. Brittle hands, a condition that plagues many fighters. We're talking about the difficulties oh, an actual that condition. befall the hands of boxers, especially the fists of hard punchers. He receives this wax treatment on his hands multiple times a week. Because hand problems threaten the career of Floyd Mayweather Jr. One of many regiments he goes through weekly in order to keep his hands healthy. 
Floyd's hands were so bad, it looked like he was going to have to retire at one point. Yeah, what did he wind up doing about he that? Got some he got some crazy, surgery? yeah, he got yeah. some crazy good surgery. In his very first appearance at this weight level, Mayweather, who had difficulty what making 130, he put his hands in wax, bro? officially at a weight of 138 and a half. Tonight, the challenger, he's the reigning what? super featherweight. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I didn't know that helps your hands. Maybe I should do that to mine? I am, I... My fists hurt. My wrists and my my fists and my wrists. Whoa, that's a that's a good record at least. That seems like a tough fight. Weather went up in weight to face the WBC. Wait, is that why he's more defensive and less aggressive? So he transition of his own. If you go back to the early his body healthy. Watch when he was pre boy Floyd. Hands and fists. He was a much more aggressive fighter, and he would put himself in danger. Yeah, he does seem a lot more aggressive. It has to be because of his hands and the and, and him having his brittle, you know, fists. He had to have gotten a beating one time for him to be that defensive that people are saying. But despite flashes of genius, he struggled past Jose Luis Castillo to claim the lightweight crown. Wait, he didn't get it? Draw? Winner by unanimous decision and new. Oh, wow. Wow. Even though I knew he's 15, no, I thought maybe this is like, oh, dang. Yo, he won. So are you suggesting that you think, given the fact that a lot of people here believe that he won the fight, oh. that you think you should give him a rematch? If he want a rematch, we can do it again. Whatever magic he had summoned in their first fight was gone. That's confidence. Yeah, he's like, come again. Imposed his will. And the screen dark. He just trained for it. He trained for it. Read him like a book. Trained for it. Knows he's won the fight. I think. Climbs up under the ropes. Says no controversy this time. They love to hate him. More importantly, yeah, because he's cocky, man. Hate him. You run in the mornings, not run at night. Like, he's good. Run at night. Go for he's a confident. Run at night. You know, then go to the fitness gym. He trains. He's job. a good athlete. You gotta get a massage. He's prepared every day. But, like, it's just his Jordan attitude, no man. It's accepting sucks. and embracing the villain role. And so long as it drove pay per view sales. But to be honest, I see. I would love to be like the villain no role. I feel like that's such a fun, man they fun character. Like when I did it in Taekwondo, everyone hated me because I was just like a bully. When I competed, I was like so big that I bullied. You know, no one wants to see you win. You embrace it. It was fun. It was fun. It was like entertaining because everybody knows I'm a Care Bear. Against Gotti in 2005. In his How could first you hate pay per view me? appearance, Floyd was fun. staked his claim to the title of boxing's pound for pound best. Oh, oh God, he was a, that was a horrific oh, massacre. Man. He was executed. Yeah. 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 No yeah. business being oh, in the no. ring. Right it's been a landslide for Floyd Mayweather. This is humiliating. Oh, dude, this. Yeah, it's. Call it. Just call it. Hey, your eyes closed. Did you know your eyes closed? You can't see. 38 fights, 38 wins, titles in five weight classes. But nothing elevated his name more than his 2007 showdown with the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Oh, they Oscar fought? The pay-per-view star. But finally, when I got free and became my own boss, I done things my way. Just what I've learned, he's still the same little brat that uh, I mentioned he was. I mean, it's nothing's new. I mean, they're both brats. One's an older brat, I guess. Mr. Mark Anthony. I don't like either of them. I don't know what it is. I don't like both of them. Mark Anthony. Is that Jennifer Lopez's person? It was the sports showdown of the year. De La Hoya was the biggest draw in boxing. The Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. He finally chooses.
refuses to leave his dressing room and instantly the crowd inside the arena sees on big screens that he has donned a Mexican sombrero. Is that allowed? Walk to the ring. Do people not like Mexican that? Music. Stick, you gotta stick to your own culture. Back then it was okay. I don't think it'd be okay right now today. People gonna be sensitive about it, you know? Delaware Stick to your own culture. After Mayweather's status. The chance is Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. You can expect a lot of that as long as he's still in the fight. When was the first time that he went pure defensive? I, I'm still like waiting for it. Dang. Also, why does Oscar seem like he fights like an old guy? Like, I don't mean old as an age, but an old generation. Like, look at that. Like, what is that? That's a weird just style for me. Tables have turned. So once again, LOA goes back to work chopping wood. Chopping wood, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it looks like. Just chopping wood. He's gonna get tired, he's gonna get tired, but get him later in the fight. Is that does that thing apply butter? Is that the thing that applies like that creamy butter? It butter out so it doesn't open? I don't know. Oscar De La Hoya, I don't know if he's anything special. But he also looks like past his prime. Mayweather's win over De La Hoya earned him his sixth title and smashed pay-per-view records. And new WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World. He's just there for a paycheck, man. It must be. Oh, good job. I mean, hey, money talks. And he speaks that language, you know what I'm saying? The match would lift Mayweather to levels of fame reached by very few fighters. Forbes magazine reported that you are the world's highest paid athlete. From wow. dancing with the stars to mingling with I did not know Obama. that. What? Pretty boy Floyd has become a household name. Right, tonight, what round was it? Round four. I think you saw more action in these four rounds than you've shown the value for money in Floyd's whole career. I'll just leave it at that. Two undefeated champions. The Hatton fight sold out in less than an hour. Let's get ready. So people Floyd were Mayweather saying even then, at this the time, crowd was almost that he didn't, pro -Hatton. he didn't fight. I guess we're only getting to see the best parts of like Floyd. So, I mean, we have to be... Maybe it's like 12 rounds, right? Maybe we're only seeing like two rounds out of the 12 put the together rich, in a compilation of like all the aggressive stuff. The event. But you guys will let me know. Honey, you think KFC is still open? Mame. Wesley Mame. on the other side of Benzel here. Brad Pitt and Angelina. The undefeated fighting pride of Manchester, England. Ricky. Whoa! Undefeated. He were good fighters, and he was unpopular with most people, actually. Pretty boy Floyd, aka Money. Ooh, they started calling him Money. But they paid to see him lose, and that was his stated strategy. That's what Jake scenes, Paul's doing right now. He admitted it. Watching Floyd Mayweather fight, he's right. Floyd Mayweather's on a completely different planet. It was a clinic. Mayweather embarrassed Hatton. KOing the undefeated fighter in the 10th round. Yo! I mean, come on. I get it that he's defensive and everything, but like, a win's a win, right? He has never cheated himself. He always was in condition. He had no off nights. Damn! Yo! Into the Boy corner post. is the best boxer in the world. Six-time world champion, five different weight class, 20 championship fights. I, I fought the best from all over the world, from Delahoy to Ricky Hatton, and the list goes on and on. I have nothing else to prove. How big is that list? I mean, he named two people. Maybe it just stops at two people. considered the best fighter in boxing. Oh, wait, he Can fought he Pacquiao. believe that is still the case tonight. Uh, my last fight with Marquez. Um, went 12 rounds. I had to shake off the cobwebs because, you know, I was retired for two years. Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard came back from layoffs successfully, and they did. He was retired for two years? But they were years? never quite the same. He pulled the MJ. 
The punching stats told a tale of utter domination. What happened to his brutal hands, though? Like, he just still had to just take care of it? Mayweather landed 59% of his punches. I haven't saw Marquez land maybe about two or three Ooh, punches in the That was Marquez nice. That was nice. Landed only 12%. Shutting everything down. He just became this defensive wizard. So he retired for two years and then came back as a defensive wizard. More like a cobra and his prey. He is the king of serpents. What was that voice line? Sound like Dragon Ball Z. Super. Dang. He seems pretty dominant, you know? Like, a lot of people have been saying, I guess at, like, fight number 48, 49, 50, that, like... And when he's fighting Jake Paul or Logan Paul or whatever... selection of Marquez as the opponent. It seems that... The thing is this. I'm gonna do the talk because you do too much talking. The thing is this. All right, Jim. Let me do the talking then. Jim. Okay, then. I really... This was a cover from 1999. We're going back... 11 years now. In 2010, he faced off against Sugar Shane Mosley. You tried Sugar Shane Mosley. You could to get Pacquiao in the ring. You agreed to everything he wanted, and they wouldn't even talk to you. Floyd is going to fight you. What does that mean about Floyd? During this four fight stretch, Mayweather would battle one future Hall of Fame opponent after the next. It's not every day when two. Excellent fighters. Dude, I don't remember any of this. I just remember the Pacquiao being a big thing. Let's get ready to rumble. Like they tried to get Pacquiao like two, two, three times or something. It was in the news or like when social media was coming out. Solid, maybe. That's the only thing I know about him. I saw that he kept like uh, dropping out of those. It was like three, four. Out. Sit down, sit back up, and come out there and pick them apart. Ooh, the greatest, nice, yeah. The great of all time. Meaning, like, yeah. I think he's better at boxing than Stephen Hawking is at, at uh, astrophysics. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. 58, 56, four rounds to two. Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I tell you, he gets off first, he blinds you with that left jab, and then he puts that straight right hand in there like an arrow. And watching him take away your life. Yeah. Like, I like to see him take away a fighter's confidence. Floyd Mayweather's skill level. Floyd Mayweather's conditioning. Floyd Mayweather's application to the sport. That's the first time I saw him give props to anybody in this, in this video. And he stands. Getting older was returning after a 16-month layoff to face Ortiz. Mayweather, Dave, gets a back end of this pay-per-view uh, uh, money, so he can make as much as 50 million fake in this fight. I think his yes. uh, official purse is 25. Well, that pyramid over there. Certainly, he's going to make 30, 40, 50 million dollars. This guy is that big of a Luxor Hotel. He himself like he has any fear. He's super confident. He dominated from the start, showing no signs of rust. Wow, he takes a lot of breaks, huh? During the fourth round, after being schooled by Floyd, Watch the head. And then the Ortiz launched into an illegal headbutt, bloodying Mayweather's lip. The dirty move drew the ire of the crowd. When the action resumed, Ortiz motioned to embrace Floyd, forgetting the most fundamental of all boxing rules. Protect yourself at all times. Dirty. Uh, we're not here to cry and complain about. You don't hang out in the kill zone 
with Floyd Mayweather. Now, I find no fault with what uh, Mayweather did. Once uh, he says time is back in, no matter where he's looking, time is back in, and that's the key. Floyd. Money. Yo. The night of my fight with Cotto. We saw some things tonight. Headbutt into a knockout. I'm so processing that. Until Damn. Until I got incarcerated. Floyd Mayweather Jr. 10 out 174 Um, once again. Went to jail. Uh, no pictures. Just hearsay and allegations. And I signed a plea. And we bond. continue our breaking news of the what? Mayweather incarceration. Boxing champ, former Olympian Floyd Mayweather Jr. just surrendered in a Clark County courtroom. Two months later, Mayweather was a free man. His appreciation for his life renewed. He went back to work. And one of the things, Roger, his uncle, was special for years. But then his father came back in due to health issues on Roger's part and got Floyd back to being the defensive artist that he had been for the vast majority of his career. At age 30, he was a defensive artist. I still don't understand. Against unbeaten champion. Might we'll have to watch another Alvarez. video. I have been in a lot of arenas since the 1980s for big fights. Few have been as electric as this one. Watch him fight. The oh, guy they fought in Floyd's later years. Spectacular. Yeah. And when you watch him stand in front of Canelo, Canelo throws a left. He's over mm -hmm. here. He throws a right. He's over here. Pop. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? I think of him as the Nightcrawler. Like, you know, he's just teleporting around. Nightcrawler just, from the X-Men? Yeah, X-Men. No, that's this awful dude one. Picks you apart. He just, yeah. show, he just like shows up suddenly right next yeah. to you. Right? Oh, it's he disappears and shows up right next to you. And by the way, he I'd must have, super speed. have some kind Easy. of power. Yo, yeah, dude. Because no Punching one goes through him to get him. Whatever it is that he's doing, he embarrasses dude. Canelo is good. Yo, the X-Men theme song. He's a mutant. After 12 rounds, Floyd was the obvious victor. Mayweather grossed a record $40 million for the fight. Yes. But even if you retire, 40 million. Fight, if you don't fight Pacquiao, then you know people will say he what, didn't what? take on the other best. What? Whether you're one and he's one A or the other way around, they need to fight each other. The enormity of this event has no doubt been amplified by the fact that it's the first true fight of the century type showdown of the social media age. After years of back and forth, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao were finally set to fight. The fight drew a so what was the whole big issue of $72 million and a record of 4.7 million pay-per-view buys. It can be argued that this one thus far has been defined by the balance sheet. Let's take a look at some of the projections for a fight that reportedly could generate as much as $400 million in revenue that that would surpass the GDPs of 29 different countries. And the millions watching around the world. Boom, perfect timing. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. The two premier boxers of their generation going head to head in the fight that so many said would never happen. Did Floyd, uh, I mean, Manny Pacquiao will have a loss in this one, so it wasn't like undefeated versus undefeated? Millions watching around the world. And the biggest fight of the century. I wonder if it would have made more money if they were both undefeated. I didn't know it went like this. Did it go the distance? Wow, it took push both. Everyone was saying for years I was scared and um, Floyd will lose and 
Floyd is a coward. Floyd is a chicken. You guys were all those stories. I made you guys eat your words. Did he though? Doesn't look like anything crazy. The edits make it seem better, but it seems boring. But instead, it's Mayweather has just turned this into a clinic. Pacquiao bravely going on till the end, but that is it. The richest fight in the sport's history is over. I don't know. I guess I'll see what the comments say. Four months later, Floyd won on points over Andre Berto. Floyd Mayweather, love him or loathe him, a maestro. Then rode off. Oh, was that his 50 and 0? Wow, so Pacquiao was, was 49 and 0. years old. 49 and 0. Oh. Came back for 50, huh? Floyd would return again to face UFC star Conor McGregor in a fight that was more spectacle than anything else. Pay-per-view sales yeah, will likely this. be the largest ever. Mayweather, the overwhelming favorite, was this 50? a two to three hundred million dollar payday. When it was all said and done, Floyd would earn a reported two hundred and seventy-five million dollars. What you know, outfit is that? We, what we the? did so many record-breaking numbers, we don't no longer call it pay-per-view, we call it pay-per-view. <laughs> pay we talking about a billion-dollar fight. So cocky. Dang. We talking about you a billion-dollar fight. Uh, Conor McGregor. So the biggest, the biggest boxing fight, I think, in history just happened, what, a week ago? Mm -hmm. Yes. Floyd coasted to the mid-rounds, where the UFC fighter became gassed. Mayweather pounced on him and won his 50th victory by way of TKO. That's crazy to have like the his MMA fight is fighter complete. be your 50th. 50 and 0 undefeated. It just is just different Money sports. Mayweather. They're both the good athletes, different sports. Boxer in history. His impact on the business will be felt in the sport for generations. Damn. This is when it all turned into that influencer boxing and like it ended up being like more of a spectacle than an actual sport. Like with all them celebrities going in now. It's just a money view now. Nobody brings it home. By nobody. 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 Make it so. Make it so, Joe. Nobody. You know, it was a good video. I just, I think I need to watch a little bit more on some uh, other channels doing Floyd Mayweather. Like, he's good. He's defensive. He did seem pretty aggressive, but I mean, it's a video about him. So they're going to obviously put like the best parts in that small, like little compilation, make a slow-mo, change the angles, you know, make it look nice. You know, we all know how advertisements work. They make everything look good, like those McDonald's commercials, but it's never like that when you order it. But anyways, so he seems uh, he seems good, but the video made him look better than I think he might have been because a lot of people, you know, they don't like his fighting style. They call him boring, and that Pacquiao fight did seem a little boring. But dude, he got a headbutt in the mouth, it bled, and then they said go, and he's like, yo, man, I'm just your friend. I'm just your friend. Please don't. Nighttime, the lights turn black, basically. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's pretty technical. He's good. I mean, he's a boxing champion. He's a boxer legend. Other than that, the video is amazing. It always is educational, but I might have to see some more just to learn what Floyd Mayweather is really all about. Something that doesn't sugarcoat all of his best moments. Uh, but I'll, I'll be seeing more on you guys down in the comments below. You guys will tell me how it actually goes down. You know, the people that watch it, I don't watch it. You guys watch it. You guys follow it. You guys will let me know what the video missed and how it's a little bit, you know, on the on the main actor on this video. You know what I'm saying? They're pushing Floyd a little bit. But that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, press that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys on the next row. Oh, I just, I just hiccuped and coughed at the same time. But yeah, cheers for now. <laughs>